I'm Paul Hershberger. We're with uh, Sharing God's Abundance from Colorado. Well, in, the, in Africa, we go to Liberia to the inner part moats, to the ro remote areas. And there, <clears throat> we give your scripture booklets to the UN soldiers. They're Muslims. They want us there. The police department, they know we have a stack of literature here. They're knocking on the door. We go to orphanages, give programs. They're Muslims. They're giving their heart to the Lord. Why? Because seed is laid in their hands. Then Jesus has something to work with, right? We go to schools, and the schools are blessed way out in the country. They can't believe it. They only have paper to write on. The teachers tell them. Now they have these booklets right here. They can have uh, Bible studies, right? And they just are overwhelmed. We go to churches way out in the villages. <clears throat> we have hospital programs. We have prison ministries there. And all of this because of the efforts of World Missionary Press sending the seed, filling our hoppers if we're planters, and you're the cedar. Is that the way to put it? God puts it on fertile ground. Some goes on stony. But nevertheless, there's hungry people there in this war-torn country. And God's spirit is working when the seed is in their hand. Let me say like this. Last, in 2010, we made three trips over there. The last trip was seven weeks remote country. We did 54 programs. It was 2,400 some people give their heart to the Lord the first time ever from young to old. Over 2,000 rededicated their life. Since we were home, 2010, there was five churches started. Because they see, they're excited. You know, somebody, what's, and if you have the latest newsletter from World Missionary Press, this story right in here, it was prophecy told in 1986, 24 years ago. This pastor said someday people will come sit, talk, and teach, and mold our minds. He was laughed at. But today we go in there where they say they never saw white men. They never saw missionary. Nobody ever come share Christ. And thank you for your efforts. There's many strongholds of Satan being tore down. And you, Bob and them, they know what we're talking about. You go in the villages where it's, it's Bush Devil Society people. They look like devils himself. And some people, even the pastors over there are scared of them. Oh, no, Paul, that's not, what, what good can come out of there? But we stop and see if the Lord will open doors. And many times the doors are open. And then you see these people that look like devils himself raising their hand, giving their heart to the Lord. And then you give seed in their hand. Today there's churches planted in them places. But it's effort from you. If we wouldn't have the seed, the Spirit of the Lord would have nothing to work with. They need teaching and understanding. But many strongholds were tore down. <clears throat> I don't have time to go through all of them. It's many stories. But the people are so excited, and they want to say, thank you, Paul. I say, no, no, you don't do that. Thank the Lord Jesus Christ. And I tell them, because I'm a person you see, I'm only one hand of many in America making your prayers possible. Amen? Amen. And we have two pastors from here from Africa tonight. And tonight they can see the many people that make it possible that the seed goes out to the ground.